<laughs> we score the Watergate um, because it was the entry into the fortress from the river and stores and provisions used to be delivered here by boat and it quickly became known as Traders Gate, like the tradesman's entrance. Um, however, in the 16th century there was a human traffic uh, which was largely one way and these people were prisoners, many accused of treason and the watermen slid the name to Traders Gate. Now we've had some famous traitors come through here, no less than three queens of England. Anne Boleyn, Henry VIII's second wife, Catherine Howard, Henry VIII's fifth wife, disturbing pattern emerging then. <laughs> Lady Jane Grey, the uncrowned Queen of England for just nine days. And I shall speak more of them later when I show you where they were killed <laughs> and where they lie to this day. The Princess Elizabeth, who later became Queen Elizabeth was also brought through those gates. She was imprisoned in the bell tower there for nearly four months. She was finally proved innocent of plotting against her sister Mary. She was banished from London, had to go and live in Hatfield in Hertfordshire. Fate worse than death. <laughs>